Hi, Cybersphere here, back with another True Infinity Gamma video, episode 2, and it's been a little bit since last episode, and I have E1 or 50 non-antimatter, that's enough to get, well first I have a bunch of unfunny points, I got this off camera, because it's not very interesting, and the real thing is that I have enough antimatter to get this all the way to level 10, and all it says is maxed, that's it. Nothing else. The antimatter has barely increased, so these upgrades are very weak. Gotta just get this. And, okay, now it's actually quite a bit faster. Probably just because of those upgrades. And, I guess I can just hold M down and that works better. So, I guess I can wait for E130 antimatter to appear. These upgrades do seem to be significantly stronger, which is good. It's going to go from 5e30 to, oh, okay, I, th I thought it was going to go up like three or four orders in magnitude, but whatever, it's at least something, I mean, I could do um, something like this um, to do with unfunity, perhaps I could get this, see if it does anything, nope, that's, bar the barrel did anything, so yay, unfunity isn't very powerful anyway, so... I guess I just have to wait for E130 antimatter. There's not there's not much else I can do. I just have to keep I just have to keep buying this up, up now it was powerful. This game is really confusing and just on so many levels. And that's a part of the reason why I don't really like it all that much. Like True Infinity Beta, honestly it was simpler than this. This is just extremely confusing. Sometimes it had a when I get an upgrade, there's a huge effect. Other times, there's basically no effect. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I was just doing some off-camera progression, and as I got this level 5 upgrade, these two upgrades appeared. So, yeah, they cost E256 antimatter, so it doesn't look like I'm really getting, getting anywhere close to that. Um, but definitely will do so. Let's actually see how powerful this this version of the upgrade is. It gets me from E34 to E34. This is so inconsistent. Maybe this E121 will do something. And also, here's a credit to me. So, yay. Uh, as I'm waiting, let's see. I get this. This is offset dimension prices. So, dimension 2 costs as much as dimension 1. Ooh. This seems actually pretty cool. That's good. That'll. That'll definitely actually change things. And then this is dimension collapse after dimension 10 increasing production. Not really sure what that is. Maybe sort of like what incremental unlimited does to simulate higher dimensions. Because it takes, if, if you're actually doing the dimension system, it takes a lot of CPU time. So, yeah. Um, let's see if this increases. And still no. This is, this is so confusing. I don't get why it's sometimes... Is super fast. Maybe if I just hold M down, something will happen. So this is E 6.34 E35. If I hold M down, I'm just, hold, I'm just holding it down and not getting anything else. It went all the way to E14, uh, E47. I, I don't get it. Maybe it's when I buy a, another dimension that does something, but. Yeah, this is extremely confusing. I guess I can actually grind all the way to E175 on camera, which is pretty nice. I feel like this is getting faster. And yeah, here it is. There is one more upgrade. Maybe I can just try to see. Maybe this boosts it a lot? No? I still don't see anything that's it's breaking the game here. It's just like multiplying by like five times every time. I, I, I don't get this. Uh, that was ten times. Okay, it's maybe more like um, eight times and five times, but I don't see what's... Maybe it's somehow... It's weird. When, whenever I buy a lot of them at once, it goes a lot faster. It's This is either because of a bug or some really weird quirk of this upgrade because this makes no sense okay so I've done some off-camera progression and you can see I have E359 antimatter this is enough actually when I went over E308 this button appeared infinity for one points 
So I guess it's another prestige layer that I should probably do instead of getting the... I mean, I guess I can get these upgrades, except this resets my Antimatter Dimensions. This does not reset my Antimatter Dimensions, so maybe I can export and then... Yeah, this, this only has one level, so it's not even that crazy. Anyway, I'm just getting Infinity for one point, and ooh, two new mechanics. Set Theory and Automation. So, I guess I can just get this, and I'm guessing Infinity Power is going to do the same as Infinite Layers, where it essentially just multiplies everything by your Infinity Power. So, I'm guessing, yeah, I lose all these upgrades. Um, I don't lose Unfunity. Lose automation. I need 10,000 infinity points for that. And then set theory. Extensionality. Ooh. This actually seems interesting. Um, one infinity point. Double online production of unfunity. There's a bunch of blurred out stuff. I'm not sure this is meant to be blurred out, but maybe it is. So, um, I don't even I don't even know what that really means, but it's, maybe it's the definition of extensionality. So, uh, yeah, I think it's more important just to get infinity power, and it only costs one infinity point to get the next infinity dimension, so I will definitely do that, and let's see, it's, it's so I think I'm just going to grind it the same as before, maybe I should get this, increase the online production of unfunity, so now I can get 40 unfunity points per hour, but only when I'm act actively doing stuff, so... Yeah, it looks like I just need to get, well, I can get E10 Antimatter to get this, but let's just, I mean, you know, you know how this is going to go. It's just going to be, just get these upgrades until I can actually reach enough Antimatter to get, to get these upgrades, and yeah, so, I mean, this is interesting. It's actually, this, I feel like this game's actually becoming more interesting now. I'm actually, I'm actually excited to see what's ahead, so... Yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back too much time later, and um, I have 27,000 infinity power, even though I'm getting one per second, and it was 1.3 days. It should be over 100,000, but whatever. I can just max all and, yeah, get a bunch of stuff here. It looks like I'm, yeah, not a lot of unfunity. Um, that's probably okay. I'm not, I kind of want to get E30 antimatter. I'm kind of close. But I'm not quite there. I guess I'll just reset. It's, I don't think it's going to be that bad if I reset. Especially with this much infinity power. Which will allow me to hopefully... Um, I, I'm assuming that the infinity power... The problem is it doesn't explain what it does. But I assume it's just a multiplier in every dimension. That's what I assume. If it's not that, then... Okay, that... Oh, that'll be fine. But it looks like I'm getting enough antimatter that I can get these upgrades easily. So, it looks like it's, yeah, now it's quite a bit faster. I need to get the 40 antimatter. Now, um, yeah, it's just, I'm, the upgrades work weird, but I'll just deal with this. Um, I think all I just need to do is get to the next upgrade, which is E58 antimatter. So, this is really, it's, this is a really strange pacing. It's, very unpredictable, and, um, yeah, I think I just want to get this one E58 antimatter, I'm not even sure, maybe I should try to get this E60 instead, be because once I get this, I'm just probably gonna, yeah, get, I'll get all the way up to E63, which just allows me to, to get one more upgrade, making the next run slightly faster, so, yeah, well, E62, E69, nice, get this upgrade, get it again, and next up, okay, boom, next reset. So it looks like this is quite a bit faster than what it was before. Maybe I want to push farther than just E308 or even E360 antimatter. Also, this is now maxed, so now I want to get this. It looks like these these two upgrades, or this one does not reset on prestige, which is interesting. So I guess I'll just get this E226 antimatter. That's really all I can do. I mean, I... I can't really do any of this extensionality, and it doesn't really seem like a strong upgrade at all. It's just double online on funity production. And that's not very good. So, anywhere we're going to get this. Should be, hopefully, easy to reach. 
yeah, the next upgrade here. This also resets. Um, I think this one's a powerful upgrade, I assume. Yeah, it seems more powerful than usual, and it looks like I now have 11th dimension. I have, I have 11 dimensions, so yay. You can see it's probably just, it doesn't display it, probably because, I don't know, CPU usage? No idea. I guess I can get, I can get this, another dimensional jump. And next upgrade is E346 antimatter, which I can pretty easily reach. With this many dimensions now, it's pretty easy to just like sort of glide a few orders of magnitude. So get this. I'm not sure if I want to push any farther or if this is fine. It's probably it's probably fine because of infinity dimension two costing only one infinity point. So it doesn't look like I can really do anything else other than that. So like I guess like, there, there's this. There's the reduces cost scaling for the super unfun upgrade, and this is just dimensional jump as a higher limit based on affinity points. You start at dimensional jump at level three. So these upgrades don't seem very strong. I think just the infinity dimensions are the best. So I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get that, and it's essentially gonna be ooh. Infinity power does not reset. That's actually, that's pretty crucial because I, I did not know that. I, th I would have assumed it reset. In that case, if infinity power does not reset on infinity, that means it'll be much easier to be able to get, to like, do active runs. That, that's interesting. It's actually it's making us, the game slightly more interesting. And the thing is, though, that I'm not really going to get that much infinity power in the short term. You can see just how much I'm getting. It's not really doing much, and I don't even think the infinity power is all that powerful at all. So that's why I just have to deal with this. I, I feels like a lot of this will be kind of based on unfunity, even though it's a very weak thing. I'm only I only have 20 unfunity points. I may want to get to 27 so I can double the gain of it, but Still, it's just, I'm, I'm really not sure, and I wonder if I made the right decision to get that before E60. Eh, probably the right decision. Yeah, it was the right decision, not probably anymore, because now I can just get all of these. Honestly, just hold M until these light up, and then just click these. That's literally, that's literally what I'm doing. Just hold M until these light up. It's not very... It's not the most fun, but I guess I'll just deal with it because at least I can get fast infinity points. Maybe what I'm, what I'm just gonna do is I'll I'll leave the game for a while. You can actually see now I'm getting quite a bit more infinity power probably because I think it's maybe because of dimensional jump or just enough of the dimensional compression upgrades. Maybe do, doing it so now you can see I'm just getting a lot of infinity power. And I feel like I should stay at high antimatter and just high everything because of this infinity power. And for whatever reason, I'm stuck at E255 antimatter because of how inconsistent everything in this game is. Which, th that's probably my biggest complaint about it so far. It's extremely inconsistent and confusing while ultimately coming down to just clicking whatever upgrades you can do. Not really much to keep track of. I mean, maybe there's a lot to keep track of. It's really weird. For whatever reason, I, I can't get this E346 antimatter, even though with a quarter of the infinity power, I could easily do it. So, I think what I'm just going to do, I'm, I'm going to leave the game. Hopefully, I will have millions and millions, maybe even billions of infinity power which will help me get more and more antimatter. And hopefully, it'll allow me to get faster infinity points. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.